guys, it's your girl Raya and Ava here with the Spartan Edition. Okay, TJ, if you plan on playing football next year, please text at Coach Grieb, G R I E B, to 81010. Miss Rice will also have the code outside her office if needed. Cool, let's send it off to the admin. Good morning, Spartans. So thank you to all of those of you in 11th grade. I know it's tough. You're getting through the SAT. Today is CMAS. Yesterday was CMAS. Great job, everyone, on the PSAT as well. Next up after this is AP testing. So if you want to know your AP date, you should know that by now. But if you don't, come by my board and get an eye on what date you're testing. Have a good one. Thanks, admin. Very informative. Hey, Raya, when do monkeys fall from the sky? I don't know, Ava. During April showers. Wow, that was bad. We should see what the news has for us on this terrific Tuesday. Definitely. What's happening, Thomas Jefferson? It's insanity. Dripper John Jizzy. And get your kids Jacksonated. Back, Back for another day. beautiful week to bring you the news. Let's kick it off. Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris tragically caught fire yesterday. The reason for the fire is unknown at this time. Though an investigation has begun. In some exciting science news, the first black hole has been photographed. Katie Bauman is credited for the discovery of the black hole. Though outside sources claim that her colleague Andrew truly made the discovery. Despite who really discovered it, a black hole has been discovered and a huge step in astrophysics has been made. You know what kind of story we haven't heard in a minute? What's that, Jax? A Florida man. That's right. A Miami local told police after he'd been pulled over that it is a Ferrari and it goes fast. The man is being hit with a felony charge because someone in the passenger seat told him to pull over upon seeing the police lights. The man ignored the passenger and kept driving. Well, TJ, that's all we have for y'all today. It's drip or drown. A little icicle ends in sanity. Awesome news news. Want to hear another joke? Definitely not. Why did the golfer wear two pairs of pants? Oh, Ava, I don't know. In case he got a hole in one, haha. <laughs> well, I guess that leads us right into the sports. <laughs> Let's see what they have to say. What's up, TJ? It's Jake. And Alex, here to bring you the sports on this cool Tuesday. We have a lot of stuff to get caught up with you, so let's just jump right in. To start off, lacrosse had a game yesterday and ended up taking the dub against Match Buff, 15-4. Great job, boys. Keep up the good work. Also, baseball has a game today at All City at 415 against West, so make sure to come out and support. Lastly, girls soccer has a game against North at North at 4. Now let's send it out to, hear, to our athletes to hear more about it. Hey TJ, it's Michael from Boys Swimming. We have a home meet today uh, here at TJ, so come out and support. Uh, thanks, TJ. Hi TJ, it's Girls Soccer. We have a game today against North at North. It's at 4 and 5.30. And then there's a Unify game right before the varsity game, so if you can come out, that'd be great. Yep, come support. <laughs> hey guys, call from baseball. We've got a game today against West at All City, so come out support. Hey TJ, it's Chalupity. And Dripper John Jersey here. Just wanted to let you guys know that we do have a game today. It's against Evergreen at Evergreen at 4.30. So just wish us luck in the halls. Thanks TJ, love you. Thanks guys. And more professional news, the Nuggets have a game today against the Spurs for game two of the first round of the NBA playoffs. The game starts at 7 p.m. We can't forget about the Avs because they beat Calgary 6-2, gaining them a 2-1 series lead. That's right, Jake. The Avs signed a 20-year-old defenseman who became the first NHL player to score a playoff goal in his first NHL game. Finally, the Rockies took a fat dub against the Padres. Sadly, that's all the sports we have for you today. We'll be back tomorrow. It's Jake and Alex signing off. Sporty sports, sports, thanks. <laughs> DECA's in the studio. Let's hear what they have to say. Hey, TJ, it's Alice back from DECA to give you guys an announcement. I'm here to talk about the end of your celebration. It's going to be the DECA breakfast in room 111 next Thursday, April 25th. It's going to be during first and second period. Um, your parents have to excuse you for that. Also, it's a $10 buffet from New York Deli along with a bunch of fun prizes. Your money, your $10, and your RSVP is due to Mr. Nicolo this Friday. Um, the, we want as many DECA members there as possible to celebrate the end of the year. Thank you. Cool, DECA. Hey, seniors, listen up. We have an announcement in the studio about your senior video. Hey, seniors, quick reminder. So, kudos to all of you who have submitted a whole bunch of content for the senior slideshow that's going to be aired on the Spartan Edition. So just keep getting that in. And also a reminder, the due date is May 10th. 
so get everything in beforehand so I can edit so I can edit all the photos and then put them in a whole collage that we're going to air on the Spartan Edition. Like, it's the tradition that we've been doing for years. Every senior class does it, so we got to get on it. And this is going to be aired May 17th. And right now we're kind of running low on submissions. So seniors, when you get a chance, just please send in your senior photo and some happy memories from your camera roll. If you have any questions, just contact me or, yeah, thank you. Great, let's send it to Miss Reed. Hey TJ, Miss Reed here next to the talent show audition signups. So there's a few people signed up April 24th and 25th. Come out and show us what you got. Are you a juggler? Do you have amazing karate skills? Can you put, I don't know, three bananas in your mouth and sing the national anthem? What is your talent? Show us. Get out here and participate. Um, the signups that are here, you need to make sure you're here at least 10 minutes early in case we run quickly. The requirements are here about eligibility and what you need to do to prepare for your act. You can be in a minimum of two, you can be in a group and a solo act, whatever that is. We want to see you, TJ. Come out and sign up. Thanks. Lastly, Hispanic and Latino Club is in the studio. Hey, hey TJ. TJ. It's Hispanic and Latino Club. Come join us Wednesdays during lunch in room 218. We learn about our culture, we go on many different field trips, and we get to meet new people, so come join us. Everyone is welcome. Thanks, TJ. Great. Well, that's all we have for you today, TJ. See you tomorrow. Bye. Signing off. Guess how many days there are of school left? 20-something. Guess how many days of school there are left? Isn't it like 23? You guess. <sighs> For me? No, not for you. Uh, oh, for me. 16 days? Amounts. 16 days? <laughs> we have different amounts. He's doing extra work? No, I'm not. Phone works? Maybe you and this well, are you extra class? work? <laughs> yeah, maybe you <laughs> have something. Maybe like 30? How many days of school do you think there are left? Um, 52. Okay, so this is Aubrey from Credits. Hey, what's the capital of Washington, D.C.? Uh, Washington, right? I don't know. What's the capital of Los Angeles? Okay. What? Sacramento. What's the capital of Mexico City? That's a city. Mexico City is the capital of Mexico, right? What's the capital of Toronto? Uh, Canada. <laughs> what's the capital of Chicago? Chicago is in the state. Oh, all right, Ethan. What's the capital of Denver? What's the capital of Hogwarts? Harry Potter. <laughs>